Hi friends, this is Dene Research and welcome to the part number 12 of Cryptocurrency Statistical Arbitrage Tutorial. We continue working on Position Manager. In the previous video we did balance calculation and now we are able to use that balance to calculate position size. Our position management approach will be based on two main rules. The first one, lose less than 2% of total account in one trade which is pretty obvious, and the second one, position size, should meet exchange requirements. As you know, Bitfinex has very high minimal order uh, size requirements, which is approximately 50 bucks. In this video we will implement this first rule, and in the next one we will do the second. In general we have to begin with trade risk. It is some sort of distance between entry price and stop loss price. So for long position it is calculated as 1 minus stop loss divided by entry price and for short posi position it is 1 minus entry divided by stop loss. But in our case this trade risk is already calculated and has fixed value 15%. But you know that we simultaneously open two positions, one long and one short. So this 15% is combined loss for, from both positions. So if you split it between those two, it would be 7.5% per position. The next step is to calculate trade risk coefficient, which would be multiplicator for our balance. It equals to account risk divided by trade risk in case of account risk is less than trade risk, or vice versa for the case where account risk is greater than trade risk. In our case this account risk is also calculated and it equals to 2%. These are 2% of our total account which we can afford to lose. Or 1% per each position. Having account risk value 2% and trade risk value 15% we are able to calculate trade risk coefficient. It is equal 13%. And finally, how do we calculate position size? We take balance value in bitcoins, multiply it by trade risk coefficient, which is 13%, and divide by entry price. In result, it will give us amount of altcoins we want to buy or sell. And now let's implement risk adjusted position sizing. We are in a trade.py, in our class trade. And here let's create function which we'll call get position sizes. Pos sizes. And this function will have two arguments long price and short entry price. Okay, now we need to know balance. So let's use this get balance function which we implemented in the previous video. Balance equals to self get balance. Okay, we have everything to calculate amounts. So loan amount equals to balance multiplied by 13%, which is our trade risk coefficient and divided by loan price. Loan price. Similarly to short amount. Amount. Okay, let's copy this and paste. So short amount equals to balance multiplied by 13% and divided by short price. Let's save these amounts long and short in trade object properties. So to do so let's add self in the beginning, self here and create these properties in constructor. It would be equal to zero and short would be also equal to zero. Ok, and finally we can return both amounts. So return, we'll return it as list 
first would be loan amount and second would be short amount. Great. And the only missing scene is to add self as function argument. Okay, now we can use this get post sizes function in main.py. So let's save and go to main.py. We will calculate position sizes in the event loop, of course. So let's do this exercise for the case when we short spread. Let's create variable, we'll call it position sizes and it equals to trade dot get position sizes. Okay, now we need to provide long position entry price that would be current price of pair 2 and short position entry price that would be current price of pair 1. And similarly we'll do for the case when we loan spread. But instead of pair 2 it would be pair 1 and short price it would be pair 2 current price. Great. Finally let's update reset properties function. Here it is. To drop or reset long and short amounts values. So trade dot long amount equals to zero and trade dot short amount also should equal to zero. Great. That is all for today. In the next video we'll work this with this get position sizes function to implement the second rule where we'll make check whether our position size meets Bitfinex minimal order requirements. Thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe to my channel if you want more videos and leave your questions in the comment section below. Bye!